Merry Christmas all. Today's story is a Peppa Pig book called Peppa's Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve and Peppa and her friends are very excited. Hello children, says Madame Gazelle. Today are we going to talk about the different ways of celebrating Christmas. Hooray! Everyone cheers. Peppa and her friends love Christmas. Some families have a big feast on Christmas Eve, says Madame Gazelle. We do that, cries Rebecca Rabbit. Fantastic, says Madame Gazelle. What do you eat? Lots and lots of carrots, replies Rebecca. Madame Gazelle asks if anyone puts up a stocking on Christmas Eve. Yes, everyone cheers. Well, she says, some children leave shoes out instead. I want to do that, gasps Gerald the giraffe. I've got big shoes. The children are surprised to learn that some families have porridge for lunch on Christmas Eve. Porridge, says Danny Dog. For lunch, gasps Zoe the zebra. Yum, shouts Freddy the fox, rubbing his tummy. In some place, they celebrate by singing carols, says Madame Gazelle. Mandy Mouse grabs a microphone and starts to sing very loudly. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Thank you, Mandy, says Madame Gazelle. And some families, continues Madame Gazelle, wrap up books they have read and give them to family and friends. Oh, gasped Peppa. I like that idea best. Daddy, cries Peppa, as soon as she gets home, I'd like to wrap up my books and give them to everyone. Lovely, says Daddy Pig. When? Tonight, says Peppa. I see, says Daddy Pig, smiling. Peppa runs to her bedroom to find some books to wrap. This one's for Grandpa, this one's for Pedro. Suddenly it starts to snow. Oh no, gasped Peppa. How will we deliver books in the snow? Don't worry, says Mummy Pig. I have an idea. Soon Daddy Pig is pulling a sledge covered in Peppa's books. First stop, Granny and Grandpa's house. Cheers, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are delighted with their books. What a special Christmas Eve says Granny Pig. Thank you, Peppa, says Grandpa Pig. Daddy Pig trudges through the snow to all of Peppa Friend's houses. Last stop, the hospital, calls Peppa. Pedro has hurt his leg and has a special book to read while I'll help him cheer up. Peppa gives Pedro the pony and the doctors and nurses a book each. What a thoughtful gift, says Nurse Fox. Thank you, Peppa, says Pedro. I feel much better now. When they get home, tired Daddy Pig picks up a mince pie. Can we deliver books next year? asks Peppa. And the year after that? We'll see, says Daddy Pig. But there's still one book left this year. It says it's for me, gasps Peppa, unwrapping it. Daddy Pig chuckles. Perfect for a special Christmas Eve bedtime story. Hooray! Cheers, Peppa. This is the best Christmas Eve ever. Merry Christmas! The end. Thank you for listening. Have a good Christmas.